Hello everybody and welcome back to another Visual Basic game programming tutorial. Uh, this is Ardermis and in this tutorial we will be creating a map handler class to save and load map array data uh, to and from a file. I'd like to point out that uh, the source code uh, that I'm using here is from the Adventures in XNA series though I would like to stress that uh, this saving and loading technique is not specific to XNA so if you're not using XNA you can still uh, still work with this and use it to uh, save and load map data so let's go ahead and begin by creating our map handler class you can create the class uh, anywhere you'd like in your folder structure. Uh, you can make it a global or uh, put it in world or anywhere else you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in the world folder just because, uh, you know, map loading I think is sort of a world thing. Um, I'm just going to right click on that folder and say add and I'm going to select class. And I'm going to create a new class called Map Handler. And from here, I'll go ahead and click Add. So, uh, to get started, there are a couple of imports that we're going to want to do uh, to be able to access and utilize the Windows file system. And also, uh, we're going to be using compression to compress our map data and make our map file size much smaller uh, than it would otherwise be. So, the first thing I'm going to import is system.io and that will give us access to our file system structure. And then we'll say imports um, system.io and compression. And that'll give us access to uh, .NET's native compression. So this gives us um, the ability to uh, create stream file stream readers and things like that. And this handles the compression. So. I'm going to start out by adding a couple of variables to this class. I'm going to say private uh, new map as a map base. Now, if you recall from before, we created a you know a map base uh, to load a map, a new map into our world screen. Um, in that map base, we had actually sort of pre-populated some tile values here and, you know, created a small island to walk around on. Um, if we're loading maps from file, we'll no longer need these. Uh, it gives us a much more dynamic uh, map routine thing. <laughs> Sorry, my brain just went blank there. Uh, second variable we're going to add is just for our map name. Um, sorry, as a string, and I'm going to set a default value to blank on that. So we're going to divide this into two separate sections. We're going to have a function to load a map, and then we're going to have a sub to save our map data. Uh, we'll go ahead and create the, the loader first. And the loader is going to be a function, as I said, and uh, it's going to return a value of an instance of the map base class. So we're essentially going to literally create a brand new map um, with this uh, function. So we'll say, public function load map sorry somebody sending me a bunch of uh, messages <laughs> um, the only parameter we're really going to pass through here is the map name and what that'll do is allow us to uh, generate a file name um, using that string so we're going to say map name 
as a string for the parameter, and we are going to return a value of uh, type map base. So it creates a new instance of our map base class. Uh, inside of this function, we are going to be nesting some streams. The first stream is going to be the file stream. It's going to actually uh, open an instance of a file from your hard drive, from your disk, or wherever. And uh, the second stream that we're going to nest inside of that one is going to be our compression stream, or the, the gzip stream. So that'll allow it to decompress and, and read that compressed data from the file stream. And finally, inside of the zip stream, we're going to create a reader that's a binary stream, a uh, binary reader for our, our zip stream to uh, return the values that it extracts from our um, from that uh, file.